All right, mid-dry update. They're looking good. They're looking good. A few air bubbles in some of them. But you can see, oh, that's the one I want to focus in on right there. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. He's glossy. 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 All right, world. What's up? We got a new video today. Uh, this is actually a project I've been wanting to do for a while. I've been wanting to get my cheap jigs from eBay. And when I say cheap, I mean like the copycat jigs, like this uh, copycat, got your jig fish. I got some other examples up here. I got a copycat Shimano called Sniper Jig. And I mean, we've seen these on Wish and AliExpress and stuff. And they're not bad products. Not bad at all. They, I mean, they do what they're supposed to do. But uh, let me let me get the purpose of today's video before I get off track. Purpose of today's video, we're gonna dip these counterfeit jigs in epoxy resin. So why? Why do you need to do it? I always like the why. Like people, why, 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 why? Why? Here's the why. Why? It makes the colors pop more. I've done a few already that turned out kind of crappy, but I know why they turned out crappy. It was because I uh, I tried to mix the resin not per the manufacturer's instructions. And when I say resin, I keep saying resin. For those who don't know, this is a resin jig. Uh, it's got epoxy resin around a uh, lead and holographic coating. And it just makes, makes it pop more, I feel like. And this is a cheap one from eBay. And the reason I'm making this video is because I've been real curious to see if these cheap, and what I'm looking at over here, I keep looking over here, these cheap jigs, Will they actually, you know, look better with a coat of resin? So, part of the the adventure, the 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 beauty of fishing, is that you know there's no rules. You can do what you want. I mean, of course, certain techniques work better than others, but this is something I want to try. And I also think it's cheap insurance because I I switch from boat to pier to surf to jetty and. Sometimes my jigs get banged up, and aside from that, just in the tackle box, right, you know, in and out the inlet, they get kind of knocked around a little bit, and I just wonder if, you know, you, you put a simple coat of resin, would that help them? And I recently got these custom-made, uh, these custom powder-coated diamond jigs from eBay, and this is your regular diamond jig that you'll find in New Jersey, but just powder-coated hot pink with a hot pink tail. And if you're not from around here, this might look absolutely ridiculous, but fish will eat these. It, it, it blew my mind. I didn't want to believe it when I got here to Jersey, but this is the deal. This is the deal up here. I got pink and I also got a uh, blazing, scalding hot chartreuse. I mean, that comes up on camera just crazy. So this is the three ounce. I'll throw it from the beach and I'll also straight drop it, tip it with a piece of squid or a uh, spearing. And throw it from the uh, throw it from the throw it, drop it straight down from the boat. So whenever I got somebody on the boat that's highly inexperienced and ain't got no clue what's going on in the world with fishing, I'll let them uh, just drop those. And I mean, I'm talking smack, but hell, I'll throw them too. Uh, the sea bass bite is on. I, I, I'll be right there with them. So just a little bit about what I did over here. Uh, we got the white fish camera once again. Uh, I constructed this wooden frame. It was uh, five dollars of worth of wood, I think, and I just kind of put a cross section, and I got all of my jigs up here. And what I'm gonna do from this point, I'm gonna probably switch to the GoPro and do a 4K time lapse. So real simple, just some wood that I got. I mean, it's like a dollar a piece, I believe, and yeah. Got the glow in the dark jigs and what i'm going to do is take every one of these i'm gonna whip up some two-part some two-part uh resin this envi man enviro light enviro tech uh oh, no, i forget but uh yeah i'm gonna whip that up real quick i mean here it is i think i got the name of it enviro techs enviro techs light let's see if we can get that to focus I'm new to this whole focus game. Focus, focus, focus. All right, it ain't gonna focus. I ain't gonna waste your time. And viral text, you know what? I'll actually leave a link. I ain't got no affiliation with this, but if you like it, there's something I'm chasing on the camera. If you like it, I'm gonna leave a link 
to all of these jigs in the uh in the description below i never said that before that's crazy but yeah so uh like i said from here i'm gonna switch to a uh, time lapse sort of video and i'm gonna do a voiceover so i'm taking my time because i've never done this before so i'm gonna just uh say i might i might just keep this recording I don't know how much time I got on this camera, so I might switch to the GoPro, but uh, the, I'll, I'll show the mixing process with this, easy 50-50, and we'll get to dipping, hanging, and hope we don't make a mess all over the floor. All right, I'll see you when we're done. folks it was a success we did it rock them bammers we got the uh we got the we got the we got the epoxy resin it's good to go so uh you can check this one out i mean look at that look at that slimy shine it worked it worked it gave the jigs more life i was excited so a few notes real quick if you're gonna do this like i said i'll leave a link in the description for the the product i'm just gonna go through amazon um mix mix the resin per the directions don't go off like i did the first time and try to just do it yourself like you got hardener and you also got the uh resin what i did because i'm so smart i went off and i said you know what i'm gonna put so much hardener so it's uh so i get a harder seal than what they probably recommend it don't work like that this one you kind of can't see it with the light but it's definitely shinier follow the directions and you'll be all right uh i'll say that's where i messed up i went off and said you know what i'm gonna just you know i'm gonna do it i'm a cowboy i'm gonna do it my way my way wasn't the right idea so uh in reality just follow the directions you get a nice hard seal uh this purple came out real good i don't know what would eat a, a purple jig in salt water but 
this is a great uh, a great example of how I wanted it to look. It's already had it. This bubbles, and it's just it's nasty, slick, and shiny. It's slick. So, yeah, follow the manufacturer's directions on the uh, product, whatever you use. I used Envirotex, two-part epoxy, hardened resin, and it worked perfect for me. I just bought some more counterfeit uh, cult sniper jigs to uh, to juice up. And you can see, I mean, it it comes shiny, but I just feel like it's just missing missing that gloss. So uh, we'll, I'm gonna dip these. And if you don't follow the directions, I got an example. What did I do with it? Here's what'll happen if you don't follow the example. It gets it gets sticky and tacky. So listen, you don't want that. Hear that? Now here's one that was done right. smooth smooth so yeah I, I recommend doing it try it you saltwater fish a lot you catch a lot of blue fish you catch a lot of toothy critters you like me you get the bootleg uh jigs and a little piece of plastic <laughs> give it a shot man you might like it so uh thank you for watching i never used a flat file jig before I'll, I'll let you guys know how that turned out but uh 140 something subscribers thank y'all man keep hitting that button I don't get paid for this. I just think it's cool to say it. It's a hobby. Uh, I, you know, I didn't think my YouTube channel would make it this far. So I'm about to surpass 50,000 lifetime views. Uh, I mean, it's a, I'm proud of myself. Uh, like I said, I'm here to just share my opinions with you. I fish the New Jersey coast now, and I'm just not sure how these will, these will play out for like sea bass and bluefish. Hopefully they like them. Hopefully they're tired of seeing the plain old Ava jigs. So I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, we'll go one last look at the drying rack that I bought from Home Depot about a dollar worth of uh, What they called project wood and uh, we'll be out of here. All right one last shot at the uh, drying jig The uh, drip resin There's the final products And that's dry. I know it looks wet, but it's dry.